There is a new awesome ChatCN extension which is used for creating your own chatbots. That extension is called ChatCN Chatbot Kit and you won't believe how easy it is to create your own bot on your local machine that is doing exactly the same things like ChatGPT. So in this video we are going to try out this library and we are going to create this entire chatbot from scratch. As always you have the source code if you want to try it out in the description below but I encourage you to create this together with me. So let's start! We have here a fresh copy of Next.js 15 and we are going to immediately open the chatbot kit library. It's very easy to use it if you know to use Shetsy and you know how to use this library as well. So we are going on get started and here in introduction we can see that so if you're not familiar with ShedCN, we encourage you to take a look at the documentation etc and for the installation we don't have anything to do we just need to install ShedCN, but that one is pretty automatic when we start installing this library so we are going directly to chat so what we want to have inside of our application is exactly this so we want one card where we can have predefined prompts and when we click on that prompt we want to get an AI response from OpenAI. So we are going down here to installation and here we have our CLI command npx shed cn latest add and then we have this JSON which is used in this chatbot kit library to install everything that we need. So we are opening our terminal here I'm inside of the chatbot repo and I'm running this npx command. So this one is going to install also ShedCN for us. So I'm choosing here New York, then Stone, and yes, I'm using CSS variables. I'm using force for all the components that are going to be installed. And we are going to check what is being installed in a moment when this one is finished. Here it is. So we have here a bunch of customly created components like here this message list, typing indicator, prompt suggestions, etc. But also we have some familiar components like this ShedCN button for example. And now we can already implement everything from here to create that front-end part of our application. So we are going to our code. Here inside of our components directory we can see that we have all these components ready. And now we can go back to the documentation and here we can see the basic usage. So what we want is exactly this, like in their example. So I'm just going to go here on the code and copy paste this entire thing. So we can see this is a client component. I'm not going to just paste it in inside of our page, but I'm going to create a new component let's see what is it called so here it's chat demo we can just call it like that here i'm going to create a new file inside the components directory and i'm going to call it chat demo.tsx and i'm going to paste the whole thing so now we can see that we need a dependency and that's ai so i'm going here and i'm going to add pmpm add ai and this one is going to install the dependency for us so we can use openai api under the hood and here now we can just do a reload this one should be good there it is awesome and now we can go to our main page and here we can delete this entire default thing from next.js and we can put chat demo just like cursor is giving me at this point and i'm going to delete this image so let's see what we have here I'm going to refresh it's not working currently so i'm going to run again pmpm dev and now when we refresh our screen there we have it awesome we just need to style it up a little bit and we need to turn on actually the open ai api because we didn't put in the api key for that one we are going to create env file inside of our root directory so here new file.env.local like this and by default AI dependency is looking for the open AI API key just like this but this one I guess is not real it's from 0 to 9 etc so here we need to put 
our real API key in order for this one to work. So I'm going to put in my key now here. You're not going to see it because I don't want to expose my key. And I want to say to you, don't give your key to anyone. That's really important. I added my API key and now is the tricky part. So now if we open the console here and if we check when we try something, so who won the 2022 FIFA World Cup, we can see that this one is shooting the API slash chat and we don't have that route yet, so we need to create it. And the easiest way to do that is to go directly to the SDK Vercel.ai, which is being used now for this OpenAI API. There we're going to docs and we need to find chatbot, which is being used inside of this kit. So here it is, chatbot, and here we have an example of the route that we need. So we are just going to copy this one and inside the app directory we are going to create a new folder api then inside we are going to create chat and there we are going to create route.ts and just paste in the api route that we copied from the sdk and you probably seen that we have here a warning already so we are missing also this dependency so we need to install that one here i'm going to run pm pm add ai sdk open ai so we installed that one and now this one should disappear there it is and let's test it out now so here i'm refreshing the screen i'm going to ask again who won the fifa 2022 fifa world cup and now we are getting our answer so ai is working awesome just like that and the only thing left is to make it beautiful and to just style it up a little bit. For that one, I'm quickly going to add a card component. So here it is, card from ShedCN. We are just going to install it quickly with the pmpm command. Here it is, I'm running the pmpm dlx ShedCN latest add card. And that one is now being added. There it is, awesome. So we have now a card component and I'm going to import it inside of our page here like this and also this one we are just going to use it and for the card content we are going to put chat demo so this one we are going to put inside of the card content here we are going to put a return and with brackets like this so now let's see how does it look so we have now a card around our chat demo and now we can put here main like this to wrap it up and we are going to let cursor do its thing so we have flex minimum height screen flex call we need a little bit of padding let's put padding of 24 for example so this one now looks already much better we just need some max width of let's say 3xl to see how it looks and Awesome, it looks nice, and just this MX Auto, which Cursor already wanted to give us. Nice, I think this one is looking really nice. We're just going to remove the minimum height screen to put it just above a little bit like this. Let's see what's wrong. Maybe too much of padding. Yeah, this is it. So now we don't have the scroll and it's looking really nice. So let's test it out for the last time. I'm going to click generate a list of five questions for a job interview for a software engineer. And we are getting the answer from AI. And this one looks almost the same like ChatGPT and you can create your own bot on your local machine. How awesome is that? I hope you enjoyed this video. You have this repository in the description below. And for more content like this, subscribe.